Hey guys, this is in phase, and uh, I've just decided to uh, make a little video to compare the two main browsers for S60 5th edition. My two favorite browsers, the new Skyfire browser and Opera browser. So I'm just going to be taking them head to head, going through several uh, features that each of them have, several features that distinguish each of them. So I'm going to be testing it on two Samsung i8910s, uh, both running on Wi-Fi. Okay, so now I'm going to launch uh, the browser application so um, we can see like how fast it takes for, for the applications to load. Um, so I'm going to be testing Skyfire on this one and I'm going to be testing Upper Mobile on this one. So yeah, there's a slight difference. Uh, this one has more applications uh, because I've just recently updated the firmware here. And Alright, so let's jump in and see. Skyfire is off to a good start and all right, so I'm going to put them both in landscape mode for the comparison here and yep they're both connected so I'm going to take them head to head so first of all I'll look at Skyfire the home page is here so Skyfire has done a lot when it comes to the home page um, you've got bookmarks you've got the ability to add Facebook uh, you can add your mail there. Um, you've got your Twitter feed over here. So they've really done a lot for the home page. You've also got uh, bookmarks here in another tab, separate tab. And you've got history in another tab. So I think in terms of uh, for the home screen, I think Skyfire did a lot. If you look at uh, what we have for Opera Mobile, so I'm just going to switch. If you look at what we have for Opera Mobile, you basically have... Um, a grid that has um, some pages that you bookmark or add to to the quick launch they call it uh, a quick launch or something so you can add new pages here so um, uh, these are just the default pages I haven't added anything and then you have a uh, separate bookmarks thing going on so I think for the home page you know the the opera approach is very simple you've just got um, these websites are similar to Google Chrome and you can just jump into that so also on the top bar you'll notice that there's a part for the website and then there's a part for search um, which is something that's different in on, in Skyfire so if I just bring out Skyfire here um, you can enter a URL or you can enter search in the same bar so um, that's also uh, similar to what we've seen in uh, newer browsers like Google Chrome and stuff you just enter your search terms or your URL in the same bar so that's it for the differences and I think Skyfire wins when it comes to the home page and you know it's integration of uh, of social media and things like that alright so the first test that I'm gonna do here is a test to to check out how fast it loads my blog so I'm gonna just I'm at the bookmarks and I'm using Wi-Fi so I'm gonna just tap it at the same time see how fast it loads this is Skyfire Opera Mobile so alright so it appears uh, Opera Mobile has shown something first it's still loading though um yep and Skyfire has just won oh just barely so that's that's a bare victory so my blog uh, you know fairly popular blog 12 views a day or something uh, but yeah it works really well so um, so without wasting too much time I'm just gonna jump straight to um, straight to to another website so Engadget is here and Engadget is over here so Skyfire Upper Mobile and there we go it's a race again Upper Mobile seems to be doing a much better job. Uh, no. At this stage, it's it's tricky. Um, I'm just gonna allow it to just should just run through here. Oh, okay. So th in this case, um, it appears that uh, Skyfire won, and Upper Mobile is still loading. So. Oh, still loading. Um, yep, okay. 
all right it's it just completed so so this is this is skyfire and this is upper mobile so just uh scheming through them um you can see that skyfire is very very fluid compared to i mean opera mobile is very fluid compared to skyfire skyfire you know has these checkered boxes i'm not sure if they're clearly visible but it has a lot of these checkered boxes and it takes a really long time for it to to load compared to to opera mobile which just kind of breezes through the site and you almost don't even see any checkered boxes so I mean that's an interesting thing to note there um, although Skyfire was faster in this case um, you can see that the scrolling is significantly slower uh, compared to what we have in in Opera Mobile so that's something um, interesting to note all right, so right now I'm going to be looking at the difference between the two browsers. So I'll just start by uh, with Skyfire and I'll go to NVIDIA.com. <clears throat> so um, there's some intense flash um, animation going on there, which um, I just have to to show. Uh, it's probably the most intense animations that you'll encounter around the web. So it's it's, I mean, you know, it's some 3D stuff going on. Um, of course, it's not all that fluid, but, you know, it's there and, you know, it's moving. It's flash content, you know, some complex 3D stuff going on there, which is really cool. So that's one of the differences, the major differences that you have between Skyfire and Upper Mobile. So I'm just going to go to YouTube. All right, so uh, I'm here at YouTube using Skyfire, so I'm just going to demo a video. So I'm just going to pick anything random. Uh, just to demonstrate uh, so you'll also notice that there's audio there you go there's a little icon there that appears so you can actually mute or allow it to play so this is paper pixels I don't know what that's about but you get the full experience that you get uh, on your mobile on your on your desktop PC on your on your mobile device which is which is one of the, the strong points that Skyfire has over Opera Mobile. So one of the powerful things about Opera Mobile is the ability to browse um, with tabs. So say for example you're browsing one of your favorite websites um, seeing everything and everything and you decide that um, you want to check something else out you can open a new tab or go to already open tab so here I've got uh, gizmodo.com in one tab I've got Engadget in another tab um, I've got uh, my blog the Enphase blog in another tab and I've also got Wikipedia in another tab so you know which is really cool uh, it's something that um, you can't really do in Skyfire and in a lot of uh, other mobile web browsers that I've seen um, which is one of the strengths that Opera has the cool the coolest thing about these browsers is that they're both free free for you to download so you don't have to choose um, you can just use both of them this is just a comparison um, to help you decide uh, which to use uh, in what situation so if you're gonna maybe check your email or something or check your Twitter timeline or something instead of um, having to go to your full browser and to, on your mobile device to check that out you can do that on the on Opera Mobile on your home page or if you want to uh, on, on Skyfire I mean um, on your home page and if you want to check out some YouTube videos Skyfire is the one um, for general browsing, you just want to uh, check out the latest blogs uh, or my blog or something. <coughs> yeah, um, you can always uh, use Opera Mobile. I think um, it has a better experience for for just general browsing. And yeah, that's my thoughts on that. So yeah, they're two great browsers. Um, great to see some some exciting products like this for Symbian S sixty fifth edition. So this is uh, Enphase signing out. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. Later.